Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Queen is a word. Guys, this is a shirt I bought for my birthday. It says Queen something something Queen July. Yes, guys. So I'm here to have this short conversation with you guys. Have you ever been in a place where you are worried about the situation? Um, your heart is so heavy and um, you know you're just not in your right frame of mind something just bothers you and you just feel like ah, like God help me have you ever been in that situation before because if you have been there this one is for you which I know that we are all human. One way or the other, we have that moment of, oh, I wish things would be go better. I wish things would go this way. I wish things would work out for me. I wish things would be like this. I, I thought by the time I'm this age, I thought I would have achieved this. But it looks like things are slowing down for me and everything. This one is for you. You know? I was I just sat down. I'm actually at the library waiting for David because David is actually in the class right now. Um, but I thought to pick my phone to have this short conversation in the car before I get David. I just want to encourage somebody out there today. I want to encourage you that regardless of where you are, regardless of what you are going through. Regardless of what the situation is, God sees you. God sees you and trust me, he has your best interest at heart. Because most times what devil does is bring so much negativity to our heart. Because feel like we are not seen, we are not heard, we are alone. Like the world is about to crumble, <laughs> basically. Um, at the same time, you could still feel that inner peace, inner joy in your heart that this too shall pass in just for a moment. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, it says, but joy cometh in the morning. So, we so the Bible did not say there will not be weeping at night, the Bible did not say, Oh, everything will be from the world to the last day of your life, it's going to be all rosy. It's going to be all beautiful. It's all going to be. It's going to blossom. He didn't say that, and that was why that verse says that weeping may endure for a night, joy cometh in the morning. So, which means that whatever you are going through at that particular time is just for a night, and there is that assurance that the joy definitely comes in the morning. You know that is still why it says in the, the Bible that. That's like looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So, which means that even as we believe that we may be endure for a night, so we are not just going to sit or just ponder on that particular verse of the Bible. We have to be doing something, and that is looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So, in the midst of everything happening that okay yeah this is the evening time i know things will get better we are not just saying these words and waiting and like okay i'm not gonna pray i'm not gonna study the word of god i'm not gonna improve my spiritual life i'm not gonna have i'm not going to have, have intense relationship with the holy spirit or intimacy with the holy spirit i'm not gonna say all that i'm actually going to be working and focusing on jesus who is the author in the finish of my faith? So I'm doing something. And when you look at that verse of the Bible that says, looking unto Jesus, the author, how do we look? How do you look unto Jesus? How? Because the how means that it means that there is something that I need to do as a believer, as a person. Looking unto Jesus. When I look, when you are looking, you are doing something. We are looking, if you are looking unto God like this, you cannot just stand and be looking. You think you are looking at this word. You're fasting, you're praying, you're doing, you are active, you are doing something about, about that situation. And, and what happens is when we are looking unto Jesus that particular time, you'll be surprised 
that even as you are looking at this word why you focus on him through his word you'll be shocked that it would drop a spirit it will, it will drop a word for you the word that you'll be like this is my situation why do i have to why do i have to open this particular bible verse at a time as this just like the story of esther where the bible says that when the the, the guy that was saying to esther he said that maybe maybe god sent you to this palace as a time at a time as this for a reason so why did i have to open this scripture at a time as this so there's always going to be a correlation there's only going to be something that that's a drop in your spirit that triggers something in your spirit and say oh my god this is my situation and look at how it could be a story of somebody in the bible that went through the same thing for example a woman that is trusting god for the fruit of the womb she's praying she's weary she's sad she's weeping it's her evening time and she's just worried and she's talking on that verse that said that looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of my faith and she kept wondering and wondering through the bible and boom then she encountered the story of of hannah and she's like oh why on earth that i'm looking i'm trusting god for the fruits of the womb and god you are letting me see this particular verse of the bible now why of this chapter then you studied the story of hannah how and her progresses how her life was how everything that she had to do how she trusts god how she prayed how she went to shiloh how eli spoke to her how she responded and you look at the whole process and everything what she did right and you're like oh my god i've been doing my own in the wrong way maybe you are someone that somebody have spoke to you about it in a negative way and you have responded with anger in a negative way because that was what Anna did then you are like oh my god i've done it wrong but you went back to say, God, I'm sorry I spoke to that person like that. It was because we were weary. Don't forget, Hannah was also weary. Even when even in the midst of that situation, she was in a in a in a in time. Okay. So when, when the word of the Lord came to you, you're like, Oh my God, ah, I've been doing this no wrong. And you now read it through, then you saw where Hannah actually conceived. And I should give it to Samuel. And the 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 joy comes from within, like ah, truly weepy. We may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Now, Samuel was it was had a joy. The joy later come to, to her. She became happy and she now have several children after Samuel. So this word is for you today. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is making you to be weary. I don't know what is making you to be down spiritually, physically, while you're just your heart is heavy. I don't know what it is, but what I know, my my message for you today is your joy is coming your joy is coming and this morning is a time your joy has come so i want to just encourage you stay steadfast hold on to god focus on him do not be distracted be guided by your words your action be guided and i pray that everything that you seek everything that you desire from god the lord will do it for you he will come through for you he will put smile on your face and he will give you a new name and he will give you that testimony in the name of jesus amen so i hope you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel like my video and as usual i leave you all in the hand of almighty god thank you and god bless you Bye. <laughs>